What's up guys, today we're going to talk about the new season 13 of The Real Housewives of New York City. So the season starts off with a new cast member, Ebony Williams, and the person that introduced this new cast member is Leah. And Leah kind of already started her introduction kind of messy, kind of messed up by saying that none of the other girls or women had been involved or knew a person of color. And I feel like Leah just wanted to stir the pot, bring mess into the group because I mean, yeah, season 1 through 12 did not have a different woman other than white women and she kind of started to say hey we need a person of color and she just kept pushing it and pushing it and I guess she even started to talk about it in the media and I guess Bravo was like oh we need to introduce this new cast member my first impressions of Ebony is she's smart she has this, a quick brain and she's quick on her feet but I don't know if I like her on the show like, is she too smart for the show is she too like what does she bring to the show that is interesting other than that she's smart like we don't really need smart in the show we need a person to laugh at or like someone like Tinsley that's ditzy and that's like really awkward to watch her relationship I don't know if Ebony would let herself loose in front of the camera because even on episode two she went to sleep early it's like what the heck bro you're this new housewife which she's not even married she doesn't even have a boyfriend so how is she a housewife but that's something else like I think they really need to start getting people with actual husbands because none of the women right now on the show have a husband or most of them are single or they're all looking for a man this show should be called the real divorcees of new york <laughs> but so yeah i'm not sure if i am in love with ebony at the moment and especially her voice is kind of annoying like it's really like not pleasant and i don't know she kind of seems a little stuck up but i'm still haven't really decided if she's a go or a flop i'm really missing dorinda like her comments and just the way she is I wonder if she regrets stepping out of the housewives right before COVID. I mean, because whatever her income was, or maybe she had planned other side businesses, like a lot of people regret. Like, I mean, they still had a job. So I wonder if her deals went, fell through, kind of like Sonia's. And I really feel bad for Sonia. She's always looks like she's struggling for money. Maybe she doesn't know how to manage it. But like, even the most awkward scene was whenever Luann offered to buy her a shirt. That's so awkward. Like, people know that you're struggling for money that they even offer you to buy you a shirt should aren't they known to be rich sonia you need to get your bank together and it's always so cringy that she's always trying to get people to rent her townhouse it's like bro just sell it and just pocket the money and buy yourself a nice apartment it's like she can't let go of the time she was married to her husband because I was like whenever she was the most rich, the most wealthy. And I guess that happens to a lot of people, a lot of us, that we get stuck in a time frame and we always want to go back to the, whenever we were the most successful. And we can't look forward and we can't just be happy with what we have. In season 12, she kind of was doing that, Sonia, with her clothing line, but then it fell through because of COVID. So, and now it looks like she's more desperate for money. So it's kind of awkward to see her. I just feel like the season needs more character because the ones we have is too little like sometimes they have too many characters and like the all the new franchise says they feel i feel like they have too many characters and then they start to lose them they just need to invite a couple of new characters at a time like they should have brought ebony with one of her friends they shouldn't just bring one new cast member they should introduce two or three at a time that they have a backstory so it won't be so weird to look at and then finally episode three we were left with a cliffhanger with sonia going crazy as a drunk person and it's kind of sad because season 12 there was three drunk people on the show luann sonia and leah and now only sonia is a drunk one and it's awkward whenever there's only one drunk person because everyone else is sober and they know what they're doing and then sonia's over here having a good time like blacked out or really messed up from the head with all the alcohol alcohol and all the other ones are like looking at her like dang Luann's probably like dang I wish I could be her and I don't know about Leah I don't know if she faked it last time but it looks like she's handling it too well and then last season it looked like she was a mess without alcohol so how can you flip it like she either she was faking it really good or Luann seems like she was triggered <laughs> whenever like she was like don't put that glass next to me that was like I mean that, is she a full-blown alcoholic does she just not know how to say no to 
through temptation just the whole vibes about alcohol this season is so awkward to watch because leah's over here saying like oh yeah i know how to handle it don't judge my drink but i'll judge your drink and then sonia's over here having a meltdown over money and she's drowning in alcohol and it's just so awkward to watch the alcohol like last season it was fun without alcohol they were all drunk but this season they all want to not drink only one person drink see and sonia still stuck in the past but i feel like they need to get alcohol in their system they're housewives they need to bring it up and episode two was it whenever they were screaming like i feel like leah tries to act drunk and scream but it's not the same because a drunk person acts way different than a person trying to act drunk. If you tr know what I'm saying. So last season, I really enjoyed watching Leah. This season, not really. I think she's trying to poke like, I don't know why she was yelling at Ramona the whole time over the COVID thing. It's like so weird. Bro, chill out. We were in a freaking pandemic. If she did or didn't, then that's none of your business. I feel I like Leah drunk rather than sober Leah because sober Leah is a little annoying and she's trying to be the it girl but without alcohol you're not the it girl but yeah thanks for watching until next time leave a comment what are your thoughts about the first three episodes